So did you ever drive by a house in your neighborhood and wonder what goes on inside that house? Often I think my neighbors must be thinking this about my house. So several times a week, my car is coming and going with all kinds of inventory, pouring into it and out of it. I have had a couch in the back of my Jeep, furniture, just all kinds of craziness. <laughs> of inventory making multiple trips into the house to store or stock my eBay store. So presently this is the condition in my basement which is my eBay warehouse. I have now 197 bins along with almost all walls perimetered with this movable shelving. If you notice, a lot of this shelving has wheels and I can configure this to continually add to the space. With my 3,000 active listings on eBay, that translates to about 5,000 items because many of my active listings have more than one part. But this tour, this little tour, is to let you take a look at my full basement. For those of you who have been with me for a while, I have shown this a few times. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I encourage you to hit the like and subscribe button because there's always something crazy going on in my house. But when I talk to my neighbors, you know, when I'm just outside and we say hello, they'll often try to casually lead up to the question of like, hey, do you shop a lot? Like they want to know inside their heads, they're picturing like asking me in a casual way, what goes on in this house? And they're probably thinking like, is this woman a hoarder? Like, does she have a shopping addiction or maybe a rich husband in a far off land? So if it's a neighbor that I know quite well, I always invite them into this basement to take a look. And it's always great fun for me when the expression in their face changes over to, oh my goodness, this woman makes a living doing this. So currently on eBay, I do sell over $100,000 worth. Now, not all of that is profit, of course. I'm going to say my profit margin is probably between 62 and 65%. So you can quickly do the math. Now, that is just on eBay alone besides my YouTube and my Facebook Marketplace sales. But I wanted to give you a view of this basement. Here I'm showing a mountain of boxes that I keep and plenty of packing supplies. There's the washer and dryer that I wash all of my eBay items in. But I just wanted to give another tour of this in case you were wondering what goes on in that woman's house. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline, and I am just hand holding my phone to make a quick intro for this video. Today is Sunday afternoon, and I am getting ready to pull what has sold from Thursday night to today, Sunday about 11 o'clock. This weekend was Christmas weekend, so I took Friday off from shipping. It was wonderful. But now I'm getting ready to go out for the rest of Sunday, so I like to get a jump on what has sold for the weekend. That way, when I wake up tomorrow morning on a Monday, it doesn't feel so overwhelming. Right now, I'm just gonna strap the GoPro on so I can show you footage of me just finding my items in my inventory system and just getting them ready to ship out tomorrow morning. So hit that like and subscribe button and let's see what's sold. 
Okay, so we are getting ready to pull. I am just going to go into my eBay app and see what has sold. So right now we have 25 items that need to be pulled. And I'm going to start probably with the oldest first, meaning whoever bought first, their item gets pulled. Now, all of my shipping is one day handling for business days. That's what eBay counts. So let's get started. The first item that I've sold is Massimo Denim Jeans uh, Juniors 11. So those would be down here. Now, women's jeans is really something that I've been slowing down picking up. I feel like women's jeans are not selling quick enough. Let's see if I can do this for with one hand because I don't want to put the camera on the chest mount for this angle. I want you guys to be able to see exactly how I do things. Here they are here, Massimo denim jeans, size 11. So I'm just going to throw those there. And I pretty much know I have not sold any other jeans this size. So all one-handed. <laughs> what a trick. <laughs> Okay, now a lot of times I pull this cart around. I've showed this before, but for today, I'm just going to gather things this way and, um, you know, and put them in the cart. I'm not going to wheel the cart around because it makes too much noise. All right, let's see what sold next. If I know what I did with my phone. Where did I put my phone? Oh dear, already a catastrophe. Let me see. I think I probably placed it down here. Here it is. I gotta remember where I put my phone. All right, next up is a vintage large glass ashtray. And I will probably skip through all of the clothing solds and pull all of the hard goods at once. So in other words, I won't go in order. I will just pull things from this area so we can see and stay in one place. Okay, so this is the ashtray that sold. I guess I could be telling you guys too what I got for these things. So I will go back and tell you what I got for the jeans. All right, so that is the glass ashtray and that brought $19.49 buyer paid shipping and the Massimo jeans brought $15.88. All right, so I'm just going to hunt for the next hard good. A vintage coin bank, unicorn and lion crest metal can. So that's gonna be in the metal area which are basically these two shelves, kind of organized, and I see it right away. This little coin bank, I probably paid, I'm gonna guess, $2 for this. And what did this sell for? I'm gonna to try to not focus in on the phone because I don't want you to see the buyer's you know, information. This little bank sold for $12, and that same buyer also bought a Vineyard Vine shirt which I know where that is because I just listed that recently. That is this shirt right here. How cute is this? Very hard not to keep. And the well logo on the back. So I will just pull that right now. And let me tell you what that one brought. And go into that. Okay, so the can had brought $12 and the shirt brought $38. Okay, so the next hard good item that I sold, let me keep scrolling, um, was a pair of bookends, antique bookends, $51. And they are of Native American, I think this is called Trail of Tears, if I remember correctly. Boy, these guys are heavy. So these are solid brass, so bring them into the light and show you what one looks like. Beautiful, just beautiful. And the aged felt I'm always talking about. <laughs> um, and I said they brought $51, and I imagine I paid a couple of dollars for those. All right, next hard good up is a vintage gold floral tea set. Most of my tea sets are over here and I see them right away. Here are the cups. How pretty are these? These things are gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna put those down here. And because I'm holding the camera, I will try to do this as gently as possible so I don't break anything. All right, so this set has the sugar, the creamer, uh, two cups and five saucers I found with it. And the buyer, um, the listing was for the whole thing. 
And I believe these sold for $33. So there are the plates. I will actually hold up a plate for you. So it has like a raised gold design and the back is not marked. All right, the next item up that's in this area is a vintage handmade ugly faced pottery. I love ugly faced pottery. I don't know that I would ever collect it and I see it already. Top shelf, so I'm gonna grab this little bench here so that I can climb up. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. And here he is right in the front. And I believe this piece was signed. Let's see if I can find the signature. I don't think the signature was on the bottom. Here it is here. Adams. Uh, what does that say? 83, it looks like. And how much did this bring? $52.80. I love ugly face pottery. I think it's great. Very funny and just very unique. Okay. The next item in this area is going to be the wood rabbit. So this is just a simple carved, I think this is cedar wood rabbit and he is on the wood shelf. I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see this. Just wood items and um, and wicker. Okay, I will put him on the table. And what else? What are we up to? The next item is a vintage tractor, 770 Oliver. It is a model, die cast model um, of a tractor. And I recently picked up, I think, four, four or five tractors. And I believe this is the third one to sell. So it's in this bin here. Sorry for the darkness. And this is my toy trucks, cars, and models bin. Yep, I saw that many, <laughs> that many toy models or cars. Okay, so in this bin, this might be it right here. Yes, Oliver 770. So I will pop Oliver on the shelf there and just throw this bin back onto the shelf. Now normally, of course, when I'm not filming, this goes very quickly because I'm fairly organized. It's rare I lose something, but it does happen. And, um, and then I panic <laughs> and tear apart the whole place. But so far, this system is working well for me. All right, so the tractor brought $22.20. And I think that's it for hard goods. Let me just scroll through my 25 items that sold up until now. Okay, let me scroll back. And nope, Hollywood Regency Pillar Candlesticks. Okay, and I think I see them on this shelf over here. So again, this is a recent find, and I wasn't even sure if I was gonna pick these up, but I did wind up picking them up. All right, let's grab the other candlestick. And I will get better and better at filming this. Right now it's figuring it all out. I did film some of this footage earlier, and the GoPro was at the wrong angle on the chest mount. So instead of using the chest mount, um, I'm just hand holding it and refilming for you guys. So you can see what the process is. Okay, the next item is a vintage Statue of Liberty. So call out if you see a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> there she is, there's Lady Liberty. I see her. Very proud to be an American. And um, I believe this is, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna say I don't think it's solid brass, but it could be. What did I put? Um, I just listed it as metal and a souvenir. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to put on the table is a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren sunglasses. So let's go over to the sunglasses bin, which are my littles, I call them. I know it's called smalls. For some reason, I've always called these things littles. And I would be looking in this bin here, eyeglasses and sunglasses. So like I said, today I'm walking back and forth um, quite a bit. But that's because I'm holding the camera. Normally, I have two hands free, and this is a little bit easier, but managing just fine. All right, we are looking for Ralph Lauren sunglasses. So a lot of times, these are not marked. BB, and sometimes they are. I should go look if this is in a case. I don't think the Ralph Lauren, this is Coach, Barbie Parker. Mm, I probably do have them in a case. So let me go see what case 
I should have looked at that on my phone. Okay, a black case. Looks like a black case. Let me get to the photos. Yes, a black shiny case. So that would be Polo Ralph Lauren. Are these them? This could be them. Or it could be these. I think it's this. Let me try to get this open. Yep, there they are. So a pair of women's sunglasses. Okay, and I'm just going to leave this bin here for now. I will close things up and I will make sure that these are the correct glasses. Okay, and the glasses sold. Let me see if I could do this. The glasses sold for $29.70. All right, let's go on to the next item. So now we're going to scroll through and just go through the clothing and pull clothing. All right, so we got the jeans. The next item is the Filson's Men's Mackinac Green Vest, and that one sold for $99. You gotta love Filson. <laughs> Are you guys tired of me talking about Filson? So this rack down here is more clothing. It also has hats and shorts and all kinds of things, but the um, Filson will be in this, this bin because this is men's vests. And here it is right here. I just recently listed this and this sold. I did list this as auction because Filson brings good money and there was just the one bid, but I'm very happy with $99 for it. So I'm just gonna throw that there. And I will leave this bin out. I will put everything away at the end to make this a little bit easier. And so I'm not filming for a hundred hours. And I'm just gonna throw it in with the jeans. All right. Next up is Express Romantic Ivy Ivory Sparkle Sequin Stretch. Oh boy. <laughs> Knit Beachy Look Top. <laughs> all of that. All for $9.99. So it is a size small. And my small shirts are in solids, prints, and then I have darks and blacks up here. So my small women's blouses or tops are three bins. Look at that. One hand. <laughs> and where is, I think this is this one right here. It is just a small sequin top. And I have just a little tag in here telling me what it is. So um, that's great. And like I said, that one sold for $9.99. Next up, shouldn't be showing my phone, is Mark New York, uh, Andrew Mark. This is a faux leather jacket. And right now, these are waiting to be folded. I think I saw this, yes, right here. So this is what this looks like. Just a faux leather jacket. And I don't know if the camera's catching it properly, but this is a beautiful color. Let me put it here and see if it'll, it'll show. It's like, a, I don't want to call it a mustard yellow. It's a, a marigold. I would call this marigold yellow. So pretty, pretty, pretty. And it sold for $40. Let me see if I can hang this somewhere and show it to you guys from further back. I could also insert a photo. We could do that. I don't know if this lighting, yeah, this lighting is horrible down here. I'm going to try it this way. No, I'm just playing games. Let's see. Does that show it any better? Nope, that's worse. <laughs> but okay, so that's the next item sold for $40. I'm actually going to put it right there on that table. This is what our our shipping out table looks like so far. Let's keep going. Okay. The next item that sold two Pottery Barn crocheted pillow shams, $62.50. That's the kind of sale we like. So as you guys know, I go to Pottery Barn and buy quite a bit. And this is where I keep the Pottery Barn and other linens. So quilts, curtains and drapes, this whole bin is Pottery Barn pillow shams, duvet covers. Sometimes I put the year that I bought them because sometimes you'll have these things for a while. Let's see if I can pull this down with one hand and bring it in the light so we can see. All right. And this is so far pillow shams or pillowcases, and these are them right here. They are brown crocheted. King size crocheted sham, pillow shams. Okay, and those are all pillowcases or shams, new in package. I love Pottery Barn. I love it for my own personal use and I love to sell it. So I already said, right, $62.50. And I think I paid $2.50 each for these. So great, great profit. So that is our bin building up there. 
All right, next up is Patagonia Men's Organic Button-Down Plaid Shirt. And that is also newly listed. So here is another rack of clothing waiting to be folded. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. And here's the shirt we're looking for. So this is Patagonia. And it is just a plaid uh, basic button down, but we know Patagonia is such a beautiful quality, organic cotton. And it has the Patagonia label on the chest pocket. So let's go back to the phone and see what I paid for that. Boy, if you guys aren't dizzy from this video, uh, $16.80 is what the buyer paid. Next up is the Patty Kim vest, the lambs fur vest. I showed this in a recent video and it brought $58.80 size large. So I think it's going to be in this blue bin down here. I'm just going to pop this one off. This is women's outdoor vests, and I also have another women's, uh, this is indoor vests. So the Patty Kim is a quilted, so I consider these outdoor, and always right on top if they're newly listed. This is a beautiful vest, I loved this one. Okay, and I said it brought 58.80. And let's see what else we are up to. Duluth Men's Shorts, Ballroom Khaki. So right now I have a full bin of men's swim trunks and shorts, but I think these are over on this rack here. These might be them. Let's see if I can I can do this so I can check. Yes, these are them. Duluth men's shorts. And these are the ballroom khakis. I'm not exactly sure why these they call these shorts ballroom khaki. <laughs> That's kind of a funny name. But um okay, and these brought $13.20. So I will add those to the pile. All right, the next item that sold is a Tommy Hilfiger men's sweater. It is an Argyle print in blue. So these are the sweaters over here. We have darks and we have colors. I'm gonna guess it's in colors. And hopefully it's in colors. This might be it here. Yep, Tommy Hilfiger Argyle sweater, size large. So we're gonna bring those over. So we'll bring that over. I put the cart over here to keep everything together now. All right, let's see where we're at. Next up is a Catherine Melodrino large sweater in pink. And I keep my sweaters down here. So this is all women's sweaters categorized by size and color. And what did I say, a large, right? So let's open the large bin. And that is the Catherine Melodrino. Again, this is recently listed. No, it's not like, you know, things that get listed sell right away, but because they're higher in the search rank, newly listed items sell faster than older listed items. So sometimes I will end my very old items and sell similar so that it gets a new item number in eBay and it moves up to the top. But that's why sometimes when I open the bins, if it's a new item, it'll be right on top because I just listed it, you know, recently and folded it and put it away. Okay, next up is Peter Millar a blue golf jacket, and this is the wind elements. I had two of these. The other one was called Crown something, and that just recently sold. Very sorry for my oil burner making noise. There it is, thing that heats my house. And again, guys, sorry that it's so dark in this corner. Hopefully Lisa will be able to lighten the, um, lighten the video a little bit if this is too dark. Okay, Peter Millar, it's a blue jacket. Let's see, I should be getting to this soon if I haven't folded it down. Let's see, I'm going to actually push some of that. Peter Millar, where did you go? Okay, that's Under Armour. Um, Peter Millar has run away. Did I pack Peter Millar? 
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. All right. I might have to look in jackets. Let's swing around. Come down this way. Okay, so men's jackets are here. We shall see. Maybe I did fold it down. Oh my goodness, I folded it down. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm that good. I folded it down. <laughs> Too bad I didn't remember I folded it down. But this is it. It's the element jacket. And we will throw that on the pile. Okay, the pile is building. Let's go back to the phone and see what I sold the Peter Millar for, $24. Next up is Nike Pro Women's Pants. So these are red and black, and they are a large. Women's Active Wear is on this shelf here. And I have, you can see sometimes I change labels, jackets and tops, and these are shorts and skorts and pants. So it's gonna be in here if it is folded down. Okay, get my workout get my workout on. All right, so we said red and black Nike, right? Okay. These aren't the ones I'm looking for, but look how pretty these are. This is active wear pants size small. Maybe they're unbranded, but boy, are those pretty. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked here. I don't see the Nikes. Let's look on the rack. Okay, so most pants, I believe, are on this rack. And this looks like them here. I should have looked on the rack first. And we will put this onto the pile. All right, guys, so that is what it's looking like so far. And this weekend was a slow weekend. <laughs> so you can imagine when I wake up on a Monday, if I don't pull on a Sunday night and I have like 50 sold things, craziness, all craziness. All right, next up two Pottery Barn Sunflower Pillow Cover Cases, 3360. I believe these are pre-owned. I'll just throw this on here. And you can see the, the bins are starting to pile up. Let's see if we can find the Pottery Barn. I'm gonna say they're probably in this case. Let's pop this and see. See what's in this, in this bin. I think these are a lot of the velvets. I should mark that this is velvets. Um, okay, very dark in this corner again, and I don't see. All right, so they're probably in. Okay, so non-pottery barn, chair covers, stuffed animals. Were they in that other one? Goodness, I have three bins of pillow shams and pillowcases of Pottery Barn. So that's the thing to sell. There they are. Okay, so this must be maybe by color. I don't even know how I'm organizing this. See, even though I'm AAA personality, I still, I still misplace things or could use a better system. But look how pretty these are. Two pillow shams. And what did I get for these? $33.60. These are pre-owned, I believe. Are these pre-owned? They have a tag with them. I think somebody donated these to me. I was actually given these for free, and the person had bought them and never used them. So I will take anything anybody is willing to give me. I have no shame. All right, let's put these in there. Now, anything that you see that is not tissue paper and properly folded, I put tissue paper in everything and really try to make it a nice presentation. I keep forgetting to, um, to move the camera away from the phone. All right, Portier, if that's how we say, or Porter Men's Outdoor Puffer Vest. Let's see what this looks like. So I'm not going to hold the phone. Okay, a black, is this black? I'm trying not to show the phone, but let's, this almost looks brown. It's black. Put in men's outdoor vest. All right. So vests, men's vests are in here. Good thing I didn't put this away. And this is it right here. Okay, so we will bring that over. You know what? I'm going to grab my phone at the same time. Oh, 
right, and go on to the next item. I think two more things just sold, ah! <laughs> which is a good problem to have, but it gets crazy for real, guys. All right, so the other Catherine Maladrino sweater sold, and I believe that is not even folded down yet. Things flying in, things flying out. I am looking for the same Catherine Maladrino sweater as the pink one, only in beige, beige, beige. Where are you, Catherine? Oh, Catherine, where'd you go? I'm looking for you. Okay, so where are sweaters? Jackets, 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 sweater. Hmm, am I looking right at this? I don't think I pulled this already. That's funny. I thought for sure she was not folded yet. And I haven't pulled her yet, have I? I pulled the pink one. Okay, so there is the pink one. I'm not sure. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> it wasn't a real crisis. I found the Catherine sweater in um, tan or beige, and this sold to the buyer who also bought the pink one. So thank you very much. All right, let's see what else we've sold. My phone is twitching as I'm pulling, and maybe it's just messages. Maybe we're okay. Peter Millar, I got. Okay, so I think this is about 26 items. Naturally, more will sell most likely in between now and tomorrow morning but for now at least I can get a jump on shipping which is great I'm just going to look at my new notifications yep they are messages and one person was asking for a lower uh, price on something but when I run a sale I don't take lower offers very rare and the other one um, somebody wants to buy a set of my Mickey Mouse Christmas light bulbs for $20 and let's see what I have them listed for. I have them listed for $29.99, and that's 40% off. So I'm going to stand firm at the $29.99. You know, guys, it's not that I never take a lower offer. If I have something on for many years, or if something was just priced too high, you know, I didn't know its value or what somebody would be willing to pay, and I've had a lot of multiple offers, I am negotiable to a point. But if I have a new item that has a lot of interest, or if I've run a 35% off sale or 40% off sale, I don't take low offers. I just don't. My items don't even have make a best offer and people still constantly give me low offers, but I just don't take them. I thank them for their interest. Sometimes I try to explain to them how many fees we pay, you know, store fees, subscription fees, promotional fees, income taxes, the price of the item. And a lot of times when I take the time to do that, now that's kind of all, you know, already in my phone because my phone is so used to saying it. When I do that, a lot of times the buyer will come back and buy the item at the sale price because I feel like I've already given a discount. But that is pulling shipping for tonight, Sunday, or today, I should say. And um, I did part of this earlier and then went out to dinner and shopping with a friend and then came back and I've been finishing this. That's why the lighting might be a little bit different. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go out and get what's yours. So it is Monday morning, and a few more sales have come in. I figured I would jump on my iPhone and film it so I don't have to do the whole GoPro thing. <laughs> but uh, the first thing that sold was a coach jacket. As you can see, all the plastic is back on the clothing, and jackets are over here. So this is the women's wrap of outdoor coats see if I can do this. I'm just going to pull this back. And this is a champagne gold, kind of like a car coat. Oh, that's a pretty, I love this poncho. How beautiful is that? I might steal that. I might keep that. Okay. Keep going, Kat. <laughs> um, so, oh, I see it. So, this jacket sold. Let's bring this into the light so you guys can get a better view. Okay, so that's what that looks like, a beautiful coach jacket, light blue printed lining. I'm going to actually open this up so we can see this. Maybe I can do this with one hand. 
Look how pretty that lining is, that logo lining. Okay, and this sold for, I believe, $117 and change. So that's the next item we're going to pack and ship out. And the second item is this little bowl right here. It is just a floral. I call these Asian bowls. This is the mark on the bottom. And like I've shared many times before, I have no idea. I just list them because they're pretty. And this was actually an offer I sent out for $15 and one of the uh, watchers accepted. So that's item number two. And the next item is a set of three brass switch plates or outlet plates. And these are part of the haul from the outbuildings. I think this is the second or third lot to sell. Uh, these came from my daughter, Lisa. A girl in her work boots is her name on YouTube. Came from her property and they sold for $20.39. So I think that completes the pulling and shipping for the holiday weekend, a little bit slower than normal. So how many items does that make? I think 30 I'm shipping out. And sometimes I can ship, you know, up to 50 or 60. Okay guys, so here is the wrap up. Package is all ready to go. It is Monday morning, a little before nine o'clock and these packages are all packaged up and waiting for their buyers. Thank you to everybody who purchased from me and support my channel and my eBay store. And now we are just waiting for my postal carrier, Bob, to do a pickup and scan my packages in. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.